Okay, in this video, I like to show you how I hooked up the the Arcbird Autopilot OSD um, together with Taranis Plus and Arcbird uh, UHF transmitter and receiver. So here's this completed setup. I'll show you how you hook it up later. First, I'll show you how it works. Welcome to Open TX. Turn on the uh, transmitter. Level mode. Level mode. Disarmed. And then plug in the battery. I got a uh, 4S. 4S lipo battery. Turn on the ground station. With aileron, elevator, and yaw. And throttle. Light mode power. Throttle. Disarmed. Pan and tilt. Widow switching. Lights on and off. Let's start from the bottom port, the t, uh, the RX, the RX port is hooked up to um, Arcbird airspeed sensor. The yellow wire is the signal from the airspeed sensor. is hooked up to RX program port at the top. The red and black is the power that's hooked up to the TX the mill port so the bottom is the ground power and the top one is the signal so this two bottom ports is, are for are for the uh, airspeed sensor the third one from the bottom is AR AR is is, is hooked up um, from the Arcbird UHF PPM receiver and it's, it's connected to this um, AR uh, port and the jump and the current ports are uh, coming from uh, hooked up from the uh, power and and the 12 volt regulator wires are going to the jump and current port The 12 volt video in is the power and it's not used. If you want supply to supply a 12 volt power uh, separately, you can, you can use this port right here. You can use that port for um, separate power input for video and camera. But in my case, I use this uh, 12 volt regulator that coming that hooked up from the uh, Arcbird power input. Okay, the top one, the top one is the video out to the transmitter. To the transmitter here. And the second one is the camera. Camera video in. Okay and for the output on the right side you start from the bottom here this port is the uh, aileron elevator and uh, throttle and the yaw 
so four ports out for the bottom in input when you hooked up ppm uh, receiver the input becomes the output so that you can use them to control other devices so these two ports are used to I use it to control the the camera pan and tilt the second one the third one I use use it for the video switching between two or three cameras and the fourth one I use it to switch on light on and off here is the Akbert UHS receiver which I cut off the original antenna and made the uh, SMA connector by uh, using an extension cable I cut off the uh, female and attach to the receiver the male end I make it into a dipole antenna to use uh, the Akbert receiver as a single wire to the uh, Akbert uh, autopilot I connect it as PPM uh, signal by connecting the uh, the single wire, silver wire into channel 7 and then the jumper to channel 8 you would use the jumper on the top two on the top two pin of channel 8 and then channel 7 would be the uh, silver wire connecting to the Akbert AR input Akbert AR input this become um, PPM uh, signal so when you hooked up the uh, Akbert UHS receiver using PPM, the uh, the input signal on the right bottom here becomes the output. So channel one through four are the uh, elevator aileron, uh, throttle, and rudder. Channels uh, 5 and 6 will be the switch control for flight mode. The channel 7, 8, 9, and 10, you can use it to control other devices. So the bottom input, channels 7, 8, and 9, and 10, you control other devices. This is the original current sensor that's, that comes with the uh, Akbert autopilot. When you use this um, pow uh, power or current sensor, you can, on you can uh, only use um, 3S and with a jumper so that you can uh, power the uh, video transmitter and the camera at the same time. So when you're using the original um, current sensor you take the plug with the ground to the bottom and you plug into the current sensor port in order to power the uh, video transmitter and the camera 12 volt you need a jumper that you can you need to plug into the jump location the bottom two pin the bottom two pin of the jump and then you plug in the power sensor or current sensor to the current port when you do this now the video camera and video transmitter now has power um, supply from the current sensor as well so in this case you can only use um, 3S battery if you use 4S or more you need to remove the jumper you need to remove the jumper and supply 3S battery a separate 3S battery to 12 
12 volt in there's a 12 volt in that you need to supply separately if you use 4s or bigger in my case I have a different a different uh, current sensor that also has a 12 volt regulator built in so I just take that and plug into the uh, current and jump connection the white cable the white cable that coming out from the current sensor is fixed 12 volt fixed 12 volt in uh, so that it can power the uh, camera and the video transmitter at the same time without using the uh, a, a second battery input on the output aileron elevator throttle and yaw this side you must supply a 12 volt uh, 5 volt this side you must supply 5 volt uh, power also to the output OHD so your your ESC must have um, BEC output so that you can supply the power to the to the ArcBird OHD otherwise you, you will not see the uh, OHD information so you cannot have an, an opto ESE if you have an opto ESE you have to power separately 5 volt into the um, into the the output side of the OHD so this side must have 5 volt regular input so as I already talked about when you're using the uh, PPM input channel 1 through 6 are reserved and used by the OSD autopilot channel 7 through 10 are these pin channel 7, 8, 9 and 10 you can use them to control the um, pan and tilt the camera switching and the uh, light switch that I, I set up to so you can assign in um, Taranis you can assign a channel to each one of these output so that can, you can control all the other devices channel 7 H I use, I use it to connect to the pan and tilt pan and tilt control okay and channel 9 channel 9 I use it for video switcher okay channel 9 out from the ArcBoot OSD going, going into um, video switcher this is with video switcher signal on this side would you would have video in one video in two video in three and then video out this is video out so you have a camera one a camera one a camera two connection a camera three which I don't have anything plugged right now and then out to the act bird out to that bird you going to video in on the act bird and video out going to the video transmitter this video transmitter so this switcher here costs about ten dollar you can get it anywhere on the internet so fairly affordable and easy to use and channel 10 I use it to switch uh, lights on and off so the signal wire on channel 10 going to this power switcher would be uh, this is power in power in is coming from the power in is coming from the power sensor uh, separate separately and I have I have a 12 volt regulator into a power switcher 
and then out to and out to the uh, light LED light 12 volt 